what is up guys this is Davey here back with another video this time we're actually going to be doing some five nights at freddy's so some of you have wanted to see this game so i will be doing it um we're going to be going to the first one some of you wanted to see the first one but then again i didn't ask if anybody wanted to see the second third fourth but i'm sure you guys do want to see it i will probably i'm i will probably start from the first one and then make my way to like let's say the fourth and go from there because I know my favorite ones are the first one this actually pretty much from the first to the fourth I love all four of them like they're all four of them are amazing I think I may like the second one a little bit more out of all of them the fourth one being my second favorite and then the first one be my third and then the third one be my last favorite because the third one wasn't as scary as the other ones the first the second one was pretty damn terrifying the uh, the fourth one was probably my sec uh, second scariest, and then of course the first one being the third. Uh, I may some of you might think the first one is scarier than the second. I kind of agree with you on that one too, but I don't know. I feel like maybe some jump scares in the second one were a little bit scarier, just a little bit. But yeah, uh, enough of that. Let's get right into it. So I do have my face cam on for this video. I usually don't do face cam videos. But since this is a horror game, and I'm sure you guys want to see my reaction to some jump scares, you know, to see if I get my ass scared, uh, and that's why I'm gonna turn it on, because uh, I'm sure you guys do want to see my reaction. So I'm gonna turn on the face cam for these videos, but obviously for maybe vault videos, I won't have it, because I'm you guys want to see the whole screen, and that's what I'm gonna do. But let's get right into it. So. I have played this before. I think the highest I've gone up to before is the sixth night, and after that, I couldn't, I, I, I just couldn't beat it from there. <laughs> I think I got stuck on it, or I just never got to finishing it, and I never made it to. I think there was a seventh night. I never got to that, and the 2020 20 mode. I never got to that either. But let's see. Maybe we might get it. Let's see. All right. Let's do it. So I'm, I don't think anything happens on the on the first night. Oh, that's right. You can uh Hello. I want to get rid of the spider web there. I, know it can be a bit I hate spiders. Spiders, I, I hate so much. Why is that? It looks like the textures are moving with one I move. I don't know why that's like that. It's kind of strange, but whatever. I, I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you see that? Like right there where my mouse is at? That's odd. I don't know why it's like that, but. Bathroom, the men's bathroom. Do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children and we need to show them a little respect. Right? Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up, they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. Yeah. It, it's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe. You know? Uh, now, concerning your safety... That was the the child from Finance of Freddy's 4, right? That got his frontal lobe bit off? I'm pretty sure 
I'm gonna let you finish talking. That's not good. So, uh, as I was saying, I'm pretty sure the bite of 84 was the little kid from Final Fantasy Freddy's 4, and then the bite of 87 was the security guard from Final Fantasy Freddy's 2 that got his face bit off by Mangle. I don't know if it's the other way around, but I know that those were the two victims. I'm pretty sure those were the two victims. Nobody knows quite, nobody knows for sure quite uh, what the story is because. Scott never gave us the full story of what it is. Sometimes I feel like he just goes with what what everybody thinks. You know, he just uh, when someone comes up with something, he just says, "Oh yeah, sure, that could be. Uh, I'll add that to the story." <laughs> like I don't think he knows exactly what his story is. Like I feel like people made the story for him. I have a feeling that is my theory. I feel like he didn't actually have a story for this game to begin with when the game first came out and then when people started making their own stories like their own theories of what happened in the in this world whoa oh, there's bonnie i feel like when they uh they started making their own theories of what happened he just went along with it and they said oh yeah yeah that's that, that was in the game sure bon bon how did you get there so fast Hello. In the supply closet. Whoa, whoa. Alright, so they seem to be getting a little active already. There's Chica. Freddy doesn't hasn't moved yet. Man, I remember I used to play this game when I was in middle school on my phone, and it was like the new it was like the the new trend that came out when it first came out it was a trend all over my school everybody was playing it everybody was terrified of it like it was it was just one of those games <laughs> whoa uh all right chica that's a bit of a i don't know why she's looking at me like that i wish this game was full screen i i there's no options in the menu to make it full screen it's very clearly not full screen because I can occasionally see my mouse go over to my OB, my second monitor. Whenever I move my mouse too far to the right, and I have OBS in my second monitors when I'm recording, so it's not good. I wonder if there's a way to make it full screen. Like, is there a way to forcefully make it full screen? Hey, I see you back there. Yeah, I'm only on 39% battery already. It's f only 4 a.m. Is he still there? Yeah, he's still there. It's just so dark. I can't see anything. I can't see him. Really. I think he. I think that's him right there. I can't see. No, he's not there. Oh my God! Oh my gosh. Holy shit, bro. Damn. First night? Wow. Okay, maybe I th okay, maybe it is a little scarier than the second game. I take it back. Oh my god, my heart's racing a little bit. Oh, 
Let's party. Where are the posters that say Ready for Freddy? Is that something that's exclusive to the second game? I'm pretty sure it is. Because the Ready for Freddy posters look like they have the FNAF 2 version of Freddy instead of the first one. So yeah, I think it's from the first, uh, the second game. I don't think Foxy comes out on the first night, so I'm, I'm think I'm good for the first night. I think it's just Bonnie and Freddy. I mean, uh, Bonnie and Chica that that come out on the first night. You know, Freddy doesn't come out, I think, until like second or third night. I'm pretty sure. Honk. Whoa, oh, my birthday, my birthday. That's what it says, right? My fun day. My fun day. That picture of Golden Freddy looks terrifying. Just saying. Looking at the pictures, I don't see any clues that might give away the story a little bit. I don't know. The screen, for some reason, looks like someone smudged grease in the middle. It just looks like someone smudged grease right in the middle of my screen. And it looks all like swirly I don't know before I started recording I was having some troubles getting it to start because when I would open the game it would be fine but then once I switch when I would switch to OBS so I can uh, capture the game on the on the screen the game would like when I would exit the game to capture it on OBS because it wasn't capturing because I have it set to evolve uh, the game will literally remove the a uh, the UI of the OBS. Like it literally reset the UI. It would stretch the screen out too far. My face cam was off screen. I could barely see it. Like every it was just a mess. And then I had to go back in, come back out, come back in to do various things, exiting the game, coming back in. And I that could be a reason why it looks like this. Uh, just in the middle like just when I right here in this in this area you kind of you can like see it a little bit weird and like swirly I don't know if that's what caused it that to happen but it's my theory so they move at 4 a.m. I believe no they move at 3 a.m. kind of funny how they have extra heads lying around extra heads but those aren't haunted yet i believe it's just the ones that are on stage um where are they? so they're just not moving party time party time so we already have a jump scare to start off the episode He must have been at the door the, the last time and I just didn't see him because I didn't see him in the hallways anymore. He must have been at the door and then he got in. Once I hear him making that breathing sound, that's how you know he's in the room. When he goes or something like that, I don't know, so sounds like an old man. An old man gasping uh, on a ventilator, I don't know, something like that. I don't know what it sounds like. I just know that it sounds weird. Like a haunted animatronic is what it sounds like. <laughs> Man, look at you guys. So weird. <laughs> That's not good. Okay, so 3 a.m. I was right. 3 a.m. That's when they start moving. Bonnie is... Nowhere to be found. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Hey there, Bonnie! Oh, shit. He's not there. 
That's good. Hey, Bonbon. Bon. What is up, my dude? Looking great. Whoa. Hey, Chica. Chica's there now. Wait, so where is your friend at? Wait a minute, is he in that same room? Can they both be in the same room on the on the camera? I've also been thinking of doing uh, FNAF VR, Help Wanted. Don't know if you guys would want to see that. I haven't done really any VR gameplay on the channel, except for Boneworks. And yeah, just Boneworks. I don't think I've uploaded any VR videos other than that, except for, wait, no, I did Pistol Whip and uh, Bowling VR, some bowling game. Whoa! Is that Golden Freddy? Oh, he's there now. Whoa! He's out already? <laughs> Do not get in here. You're not going to get in here. Not this time. Is that him still there? I think that's his shadow. Hey, Chica. Hmm, Foxy hasn't moved yet. That's good. Right, baby. We did it. That was a quick water break. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're back. You know what I don't get? When this, if this happened to me on the first night, why would I stay for four more nights? Why, why, if this happened to me the first time I was here, the first night, why would I come back for four more? I mean, obviously, I came here for a purpose, not because I needed the money, or maybe I was really desperate for money, but I'm pretty sure I, I came here for a purpose, and I did watch a lot of FNAF, theory videos, whoa. Check the door 
Uh, so, guys, sorry about that that weird cut. Uh, I was I actually got a call from my parents saying that apparently somebody down the down the street from my house uh broke in into a into a house down the street and they told me just to be aware and watch out. <laughs> they haven't they haven't caught the guy yet. I'll explain more later when this guy's is done. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, apparently somebody down my street broke into a house. And, like, someone broke into a house down my street. And, yeah, they, my parents just told me to, just to watch out, you know, be careful. And it's kind of weird. I live in a gated community, like, in a, uh, in a gated community. And somebody literally just happened to walk, come right in to the neighborhood and just break into someone's house. And then get away with it. He hasn't been caught yet. I'm assuming he'll be he'll be caught eventually, but the fact that he just broke in willy nilly, you know, and it just got away with it is beyond me. It's insane. Am I hearing dum 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 dum? I think that's what I'm hearing. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm gonna just keep my eye on Pirate Cove. I'm not even gonna look for Bonnie and Chica on the cameras. I think it's more efficient if I keep my eye on Pirate Cove. Bon okay, so he's still there. Uh, no, I was gonna say Bonnie, but no, it's Freddy. There's a soda right in the hallway there. Man, they should really clean up the place. I mean, is it like, is it this dirty during the day when there's actual kids, you know, roaming around? There's the dum 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 dee dee dum dum again. Who's singing that? That's not Foxy singing that, I would assume. Where is that coming from? Is that like a song that plays when Foxy's coming out or something? To like, present himself to the kids? Ooh, I can only imagine what these animatronics would do if a kid got really close to them. Like, would they snap at the kids? Like, I feel like if a kid was uh, making the animatronic a little too uncomfortable, or like it was, you know, a, a little bit too touchy with the animatronic, I feel like they would snap and then, like try biting them, scratch them, you know, stuff like that. I feel like that's what happened. That's what, what would happen. Wait, but no, if I remember, if I remember correctly, they only react to adults 
they don't mind children, if I remember correctly. They don't mind children, they just hate adults. That's Chica's cupcake right there staring at me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they only hate adults. Because it was an adult that killed the five the five ki children. I'm pretty sure it's five. Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Boxy. Yeah, five. It's five kids. Counting. Yeah, Golden Freddy was a, was a kid. He's not a ghost. I was gonna say four, but I there is a kid that inhabits. Golden Freddy, what the fuck was that? I could have sworn I saw something in the corner of the screen right there. Might be my imagination. But yeah, it's probably my imagination. Um, yeah, they only seem to attack adults, if I remember correctly, because it was an adult that killed them. And I'm pretty sure the one who inhabits Golden Freddy, I forgot her name, uh, Stephanie? What's it? What was her name? Stephanie or... Cassidy, no, it was Cassidy, it was Cassidy, it was Cassidy. I'm pretty sure that's her name, yeah. Cassidy, Stephanie, or one of those, I don't know. Um, the That one, that kid that inhabits Golden Freddy is the one that's the angriest out of all of them. Like, she does not, like, Afton at all. Like, she really hates him. Now, I know that she, I know that they hate Afton, with a with a passion because he's the one that killed them. I know that they I know that they hate him, but and I know that they attack adults because it was a uh, it was an adult that killed them. But why would they attack any adult that they see instead of the one that caused them to be like that, that killed them to begin with? They shouldn't just attack any random adults. I guess because a random adult stranger killed them, they think that all adults are bad. I don't know. Maybe that's... Who's stomping? Whoa, 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 whoa. He's already out? You stay right there, big boy. Yeah, I, I, I don't get why they would just attack any random adult. I guess since they died to one, they think that all adults are bad. And that they all deserve to be punished. I don't know. I could be just assuming stuff right now. But yeah. Uh, I rem Ca Cassie or Stephanie. I'm pretty sure it's Cassie. Inhabits Golden Freddy. I remember seeing a theory video by Map Hat That um, the other one was the crying child. That... That inhabits Gwen Freddy. I used to remember back then that uh, everybody thought that the crying child was the one that inhabited the puppet because both of them were crying. Everybody thought that it was the puppet, but it was since confirmed that it was the daughter of Henry, I think, that inhabited the puppet. Henry being the co owner of Finance of Freddy's, this restaurant right here, with William Afton. I'm pretty sure William was the one that built the animatronics. I don't know what Henry did. I think he was just the the face of the place while Afton, William Afton was the the engineer behind everything, like the inventor. I think that's what happened. I think that's what it is. And yeah, Cassidy was No, no, not Cassidy. Wait. No, I forgot Henry's daughter's name, but she inhabits the puppet. And the one that inhabits Gwen Freddy is just some girl that was outside the restaurant. So they're getting active now. We're on night three, guys. So that's good. If I complete this night, I'll probably stop it and end it there. So keep the camera on Foxy. I'll do that. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
Oh. Why do they know this and not take any action? Well, why do you know this information and yet you don't do anything about it? Why is nobody taking action? Why haven't the police shut this place down knowing that it could potentially kill night guards and stuff them into suits? That's literally hor horrible. I mean, this place should have been closed knowing knowing this information. Whoa, you, 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 you stop that. It's me. That's what he keeps saying. Now, since we know that the crying child inhabits Golden Freddy, I'm, I'm assuming at this time, when this restaurant, uh, I'm, I remember there being a theory saying that he's, whenever he does that, it's me. I, I think he's trying to communicate to the night guard and to tell him that it's him. And let me get to, let me get to my next point. The reason why he's saying that to do that to the night guard is because there's a theory also again another theory that i'm not sure if it's proven yet that the night guard is actually uh the son of william afton yeah and also the brother of the crying child so the brother the little brother the crying child is trying to tell uh this kid i forgot his name Michael Afton, I, Michael, Michael Afton. He's trying to tell Michael that it's him, his brother. You know, I'm your brother. I'm here. I'm, I'm fine. It's me. Like he's like Michael. It's me, your, your brother. You know, he's trying to like let him know that he's there. And I think the, I don't remember why Mike, uh, Michael was taking all these night jobs because I, I remember at the end of Finance of Freddy's two. The check that he, uh, they give you when you finish the All Five Nights, I think it says, uh, it, it says Michael. No, not Michael. Uh, at the end of this game, it says Michael, and he's like trying to. T no, he's like, uh, he's like taking all these jobs, these night jobs, because he's trying to undo his father's work. <laughs> Yeah, he's trying to like undo his father's work. Okay, he's still on stage. He's still on stage. Just making sure Freddy hasn't moved yet. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, where, 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 where? Where is he? <laughs> it's not good. Chica is gonna come in any second. Okay, there's Freddy. Uh, don't go to the woman's restroom. <laughs> Freddy, that w that's the woman's room. That's the ladies' room. You can't go in there. It's for women. You're not a woman. At least I don't think you are. still there huh this time you can actually see them at the window i guess because this one is so foggy and dirty that's why you can't see through that window Ooh, okay so this is slowing down he has his eye patch open i just noticed that his you can see both eyes now At this point, you don't, 
I don't need to start checking the halls looking for Bonnie and Chica. I, I know that now. Because you just just open the just turn on the lights basically and see if they're at the door or not. That's all you have to do. If you waste time looking for them, you're gonna you're gonna die. You're you're gonna die. Okay, he's not in the hallway yet. I know Freddy comes from the right side. My mouse came out of uh, to the second monitor right there. Stop that. I don't know where Freddy's at. I really don't. I don't think he's moving. Maybe he is. I'm. Pr I think Freddy might be. I think Freddy might be at the closet. Okay, so Foxy has not moved yet, so that's good. I don't think Foxy, no, Foxy's moved. He's right there, so. There we go, got it. Alright guys, so I think I'm going to end it there for the fourth night. We're going to save that for next episode. But yeah, uh, we're doing good. Uh, actually, let me just exit there. Alright, so we're doing good. Um, next episode will be the fourth and fifth night. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take it easy. Peace.